Welcome to 3 Minute Thoughts. So today I want to talk about the Cold War. Now, most people watching this are around my generation, so they're aware of the Cold War and, and all the things that had go along with it. But for the younger people there, which most of these stories I try to design for, for the most younger people, so they go, oh, so that's what that time was like. Cold War happened, I'd say from the 60s to the mid 80s, no, late 80s, 90s, early 90s. The fall of the Berlin Wall was really the beginning of the end of the Cold War because you can have a beginning of an end of something. But the atmosphere during that time, actually, I don't think it's much different than the atmosphere now, in which you feel, feel like the world is going to end at any moment. That's the atmosphere. Back then, there was the strong, strong hatred towards Russians. It's not the same as now. Like Now, the hatred is towards like certain elements in the government of Russia, but I don't feel people actually having a hatred towards Russia itself. And when you hear the political discourse, people were like, just, yeah, Russia's fine, which, uh, not during the Cold War. Cold War, like, if you even, like, sneeze with a knee at, you were hated. So anything even closely, remotely Russian was just, just vilified. And you see that in the movies, like, one of the Rocky movies had a Russian, I think actually it was the first one, I don't know which one, but a Russian opponent. And it was like, oh, he's so evil just because he's Russian. But nowadays, no, it's different. It's just the, the government, the, the Putin guy who's who's evil. And if you're Putin and you're watching this, why is my view count so low that you're one of the people who's watching this? Anyway, but I'm not going to be the kind to go, oh, yes, go ahead, rig the polls and get me more views. No, Russia, don't interfere. But... The Cold War was a scary time, and one of the things, the stories I remember is actually when it ended, and we had friends with Russia, and my dad was still so invested. Like, like you hear like planes every so often like fly overhead, and I would be freaked out that they were about to drop bombs, even though there was no actual physical war going on. You'd think missiles like going off. There's a movie called The Day After, which scared the whole country just completely scared because you thought the world was just going to end. My dad, after it all ended and we were all friends with Russia again, he was still convinced it was a trap. And he was still in that, but he was military -ish, civilian military, so he was still in that mindset of Russia, anything Russian is enemy. And I don't know how it was supposed to be a trap, but it was a trap. And I guess actually in a sense it was because we attend our guard and, and now there's bad elements there. It was a spooky time. That's the main thing I want to get at in which we thought bombs would drop any time and they would destroy everything. But the part of the equation that confused me is like the bombs would drop and destroy everything, but we were half the ones responsible for it. So why were we not vilified by ourselves for doing that? Anyway, those are my thoughts on today. What was your experience from the Cold War if you lived through it? Let me know in the comments. Thanks.